Hey guys, so to start off explaining PTSD, acute stress disorder, and adjustment disorder, I want to start off by emphasizing the fact that to diagnose any of these three, you need to have the presence of a stressor and a symptomatology. So I'm going to start off by talking about the two of them that have stringent criterion. And the two of them that have stringent criterion are PTSD and acute stress disorder. And they have stringent criteria for three things. The stressor, which is an event, symptoms, and time. And when we talk about time, we're talking about the time between the stressor and the onset of symptoms. So these two disorders have these two things in common. So the stressor in both PTSD and acute stress disorder is a traumatic stressor. An example is rape. And symptoms is avoidance nightmares hyperarousal sleep disturbance so those are some main ones so the only thing that's different between PTSD and acute stress disorder is the time. The time is what differentiates them. So acute stress disorder, you've got to have at least three days after the stressor and no more than a month. So this should be days. Whereas for PTSD, it's going to be at least a month. So it's going to be actually more than a month, not at least a month. PTSD is going to be more than one month. All right. Now, adjustment disorder is a little different because adjustment disorder adjustment disorder is non-stringent. You do have a stressor and you do have symptoms. But the stressor does not have a stringent criteria, does not have to be tra tra traumatic. Okay. It can be, and I want to emphasize it can be, but again, doesn't have to be. And the symptomatology is depressive-like symptoms, so depressive symptoms, and anxious symptoms, but they're not at the level of intrusive nightmares, flashbacks, avoidance. They don't fit that. And so adjustment disorder is mostly a diagnosis of exclusion. You're excluding everything else possible. And you've reached the end of my video.